hello guys and welcome to another video in today's video i will show you a quick way and how you can open any computer using the basic tools just a screwdriver a phillips screwdriver and your hands so the video will will be a uh, little bit faster and i will try to speak uh, on the video so uh, watch carefully and uh, if you didn't understand something just stop the video and uh, or ask me in the description below see here we start this is a dell uh, it's an old laptop but the setting or the way how we can open it it will apply for all the computer if you wanna upgrade just your memory and uh, your hard drive uh, most of the laptops they have uh, access from the bottom bottom the computer uh, bottom of the laptop so just by open it you will see the place of the computer or sometimes they are label it on the top or on the bottom of the the laptop so here and um, i will open the whole computer the whole laptop i'll take it part by part and you will see each individual part in this place or in this part i'm removing the battery if you can see this is to save the setting of your bios and, uh, and here is the cable for the the fan which is related to the to the to the radiator of the cpu so uh, of course you need to make sure that while while you're opening the the cpu or the screws of the cpu actually there are always four you can find them sometimes there are six you open one three four two you go the half turn and the half turn uh, number by number you will see the label on the on the cpu uh, radiator there is a cpu it's called i i5 i think yes yeah, i5 uh, and the, here is the ram the location of the ram as you can see just by pulling them to the both sides the hard or the the the, the cd room or the reader it's always hold hold it by just one screw this is the this is the wi-fi the wi-fi card it's always having two wires once you will find one sometimes there are three but if you find just two uh, you will find the white one and the black one and you will you will see also labeled on the on the on the sticker that the the white it's uh, just a arrow white and the black it's a arrow black arrow so indicating that the locate the location of the two wires if they are three you will see an extra uh, brown not brown you will see uh, i think uh, gray gray yes white and black and gray if you have the 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 central the central of the the antenna sometimes they are not including that just two the earth in and the anyway he's here it's holded the the cart is holded by just one screw you take in the screw part and then you remove the the cart here is the hard drive the hard drive is same like the 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 cd room it's holded by just one screw you open it and you slide it apart in this laptop you need to open from the sides all the laptops having the same and another thing once you're taking off the screws you need to make sure that to, to put the screw with the part that you that you took from the place so once you will make it back you will know this screw belongs to this place if the screw is small actually there is a number you will find mp mention it and put aside a paper and write m and put all the screws that you took them from the m you know the hole where you put the screwdriver to take off the the screw you will find the number or number sometimes a letter it's indicating the screw size so make sure that you get you put in you will put back the screw the screws to the same location as you know the the cover there is under of the cover there is a motherboard and if you put a bigger screw you will you will you will make a, a huge problem you will block the motherboard you will make a hole there and don't think that you can fix it again here i'm taking this cable it's related to the monitor or to the to the screen of the of the laptop so i took it from the it was holded by two screws 
we talk it out and then here we are trying to talk to take sorry uh, two screws that they hold in the side of the of the of the laptop I faced some problem in this screw so uh, it was a little bit harder because it was never opened this is the first time so I used another extra screwdriver to take that screw and here is the the tube I think th those two screws are the big screws on the laptop so be careful do not use them the screws the the master screws that they are on the sides or the side of the computer they are the the bigger one the taller one I mean just make sure you put them back uh, at the same place uh, so here I think we're finished from the from the bottom we're gonna open the computer and they uh, will take the 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 keyboard so the keyboard always you will see uh, all the the laptops are the same so once you take uh, that part you will find screw a screw or sometimes the keyboard is hold by another screw from the bottom so make sure you will see the lab the label on the bottom of the laptop there is a mark indicate that that this screw is belongs to the to the to the motherboard to, I'm sorry to the keyboard it's holding the keyboard from the bottom so make sure you're taking the you're not forcing to take the keyboard from it place because it should go out smoothly okay as you can see and under of the the keyboard you will see again some screws you need to take them they are also labeled make sure this is the this is the dangerous the dangerous uh, screws if you put different screws uh, just say bye to your computer or to your laptop I'm not wearing the gloves because I know this laptop it's a uh, it's a uh, it's empty from the the power the battery has been died for a long time I didn't use it so there is no juice on it so if you are afraid if the laptop was uh, working for for a while and exactly after that you're you having a problem and you want to open the, the laptop just make sure that you take off the battery uh, clear the power by holding the power button multi times without the battery battery in battery attached to the computer or the power cable attached to the computer so make sure you del you removed all everything uh, every power source you know you, you don't need to have any power source so yeah, as you know the the, the hands are are uh, they, they can pass the, the electricity so make sure or better to use the the gloves you can use the gloves i don't have gloves i don't i know what i'm doing so i, I will not use the gloves but I'm advising to use the gloves. You need to use the gloves. There is a, uh, there is some black gloves for the electricity for the. Not any gloves. So here you need a, a tool, which is a plastic, just to pop up the 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 the, the clips that they are, that they are, they are uh, holding the two sides of the the cover. It will, I don't have that tool so I will use just a screwdriver and be careful just open it step by step to not scratch the, the your cover so once I'll take off this the screen will go apart as you can see there is two wires from the right and the left one to the monitor and one to the the antenna of the Wi-Fi antenna of the Wi-Fi here we, we stayed with the with, with the with just the, the the computer and the motherboard so there is some cables here this is the cable of uh, power yes it's the power so we're taking it out as you can see I'm trying to remove it slowly and I don't want to break anything this is the, uh, the 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 power switch map that's the one I remove it not this, the other one.
it was whole I'm just looking if there is another this is my first time opening this laptop I don't have any schematic so I just open it uh, as, you, as, as I told you in the beginning of the video you don't have to to be afraid to open any laptop they are they are all the same so I was opening and checking inside if there is any cable holding the two sides so uh, then I find that there is nothing holding that I need just to play around to remove it and as you can see here is the mouse it will stay attached to the to the to the, to the to the top case and the speakers are also there here I will start to remove the the motherboard the motherboard you need to know something there was there is a screws in the motherboard and those screws they are mentioned on the motherboard with a white arrow so you you don't need to put you will find another holes on the motherboard so if you put a screw on that hole which is not located as you can see there is a white white arrow there one two and I think just three yes so if you put the screw in an, an other other holes you once you will close it that that screw shouldn't be that way you should put it from the when you will close the computer so here just make sure you just put back the screws to the to the, the same place and I'm advising also always for the for the beginners uh, to take a picture and mark the place of the screws or some people there is you will find a schematic of the of the of, uh, of the the laptop you print it put it aside and take the screws and put them on that paper that you printed mention it this is screw belongs here and this screw belongs here and this and this and so just make sure you put back the screws to the same place I ha we have an example in my in my country says the professional guy who's who, who will never ever forget any screw and uh, my first time when I was st studying computer engineering I find I was opening the computer when I close it I'm looking around and I found the part I forget to put it or two or three or five screws I don't know <laughs> from where they are coming they say that's it's okay they are just an extra I will not use them so by time you will start to know uh, the small parts are very important uh, the, the, the manufacturers they're working for the computers and one screw it cost them money it cost them money so you need to know if they put it so because they need it they need it in that place so don't think okay I don't need this screw sometimes you forget one screw and then once the computer is running you will start to see or to 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 hear some some noise and that's only because you forget some part loose or something especially on the hard drive that the mechanic hard drive not the SSD as we know in the new technology even though you need to put everything as it is